guys, let's talk about whether or not Magic the Gathering cards are being reprinted or supplementary product is coming out too fast. This is an interesting question because of Eternal Masters. Let me say this about Eternal Masters. Stores can order in Houston from my friend's distributor can order up to 350 boxes for around $140 a box. My friend can take a 350 Eternal Ma Masters boxes. I don't know if it's boxes or cases. He didn't specify at $140 a box. And that's pretty good considering that they currently retail for $250. Essentially, we need to look at the facts. And the facts are since 2015, a lot more stuff has been printed. But I split this from 2015 to 2016 August and then I split it again for late 2016 and there is a considerable difference when we got our new CEO. Our new CEO is from, of Hasbro is from Microsoft and he doesn't to my knowledge has no experience with Magic the Gathering or doesn't know very much about it but things have changed from people. Randy is no longer with us and we have new people representing the face of magic. Not only do we have new people, we have a new style of printing. We have new supplemental products like Eternal Masters, and we have new ways to reprint these supplemental products, such as reprinting them six, not even six months from them being released. It is insane to me how much product is coming out and the fact that we're now currently in a lottery system where a lot of people will lose and a few people will win. And the winners will be the ones with the expeditions. So I want to take a moment and look at the later half starting from 04 of 2016. We had Shadows. We had Eternal Masters two months after. We have Eldritch Moon a month after that. We had From the Lore a month after that, as well as Conspiracy, which is a large draft set. Then we had the dual deck Nyssa. Then we had Kaladas that same month. In November, we have Commander 2016. We have Plane Chase Anthologies. We have a reprint of Eternal Masters, which is not listed here. Then in January, we have A for Revolt. In March, we have Modern Masters 2017. Uh, as well as the dual deck Might vs. Mind. And the next month we have Amarket. And the, in June we have Commander Anthology and Arc Enemy come back. And then in July we have Hour of Devastation, which is a large expansion set. So that is a lot of product. That is a lot of product. I'm not going to lie, I spent a lot of money on Eternal Masters and I look like an it seems silly to me. If you told me that Eternal Masters would have been reprinted not even half a year later, I would not touch the product on the initial release because you know it's fun. I would draft a product because it's fun to draft, but I wouldn't buy boxes to open. Essentially, what I'm hearing is there are a lot of boxes for sale, and there are you know 140. I think Darium's mentioned 125. My friend says 140. Might be different distributors, but the amount you can order is a lot. Uh, my friend can order 300. I don't know if it's 300 boxes or 300 cases. Uh, 300 cases would be 1,200 boxes. Um, I can probably send a text to my friend to get clarification on that number, but there's a lot. And my friend does not own a very large store. So that is what was offered to him. I can only imagine what's offered to someone like Star City Games or someone like Channel Fireball. There is a lot of product currently out. Uh, not just Eternal Masters. I'm talking about supplemental products. I'm talking about commander products, conspiracy products. I'm talking about reprint products. I'm talking about dual decks, anthologies. We'll, we're going to have holiday packs, I'm assuming soon, bundles. Leave me a comment below. Do you think this is good, bad? Are you excited? Are you sad? What are your initial? My initial feelings is finally we have a CEO of Hasbro, which recently changed, and that's why we are seeing these changes, who is 
in the mindset of let's make as much money as possible. And I believe that's good for the game. I believe that capitalism in Magic the Gathering is not something bad. And that's what's happening now. You have people who have been part of the Magic community. Randy uh, Bueller, he has been representing Magic community for a long time. I'm sure that he was forced to leave. I'm sure that wasn't his choice. Things have been changing. Magic Next will probably force a lot of other people out who are not doing a good job of Magic Online. That's the truth. This guy from Microsoft is no joke, and he has changed how the companies run. If that's positive or negative, we don't know yet, or I don't know yet, but leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.